Assalamu alaikum and a very warm welcome to Bridges. I'm your host, Rafi Abdul Malik. As usual, I'm proud to have with us Dr. Naji Al Faj in the studio. Welcome, Doctor. Thank you for joining us today in the studio. Thank you. You're more than welcome. Well, we're taking a look at the concept of Islam, Christianity, and Judaism. We've researched everything regarding, we've actually gone torn into pieces everything. We're here today to look at the values of Islam. We're going to actually continue our discussion with the doctor about the values of Islam. Doctor, we're talking about um, you know the values and the concepts, everything about Islam. You know, we took a look at previously in episodes about Christianity, Judaism. We touched on all the subjects, you know, it's very fascinating. And together we've discovered, you know, we're at the point now at looking at the values. The values. I want to, you know, I want to stress on the values of, you know, what we have in common. Great. We've discussed previously that, you know, instead of being united as people, you know, we're going to different paths, we're, we're taking different routes. And we're here to discover, let's be united. You, you and I have discussed previously that, you know, we want the same as what we have for the world. We want to unite it and doctor, you know, I'm privileged, you know, you've spent 30 years in your research, dedicating your life to, to, to this. And it's, you know, subhanAllah, may Allah reward you, inshallah. Amen, amen. amen. Thank you, Brother Rafi. You're welcome. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. I ask Allah, that through God, to shower His mercy upon us all. Inshallah. I ask Him to guide us all to His true path. Mm -hmm. Amen. In the last episode, I shed some light on yes. some of the goals, yes. or the ultimate goal, mm -hmm. actually, that we are trying to seek. I mentioned that our ultimate goal of the discussion or our search concerning the oneness of God mm. and using this kind of comparative study of religions, our ultimate goal is to seek the truth and know our true God, mm. Allah, the Creator, to be close to God, to love God and always think of God. Mm to put God first and to do God's will. As I mentioned, Prophet Muhammad, Prophet Jesus, and the other prophets and messengers of Allah came to teach their people mm. to do God's will. Uh -huh. We have many things in common yes. that can gather us together, Jews, Christians, and Muslims. Instead of wars, instead of violence instead of you know mm -hmm. mistrust crucial, crucial we point. should we should go together yes. serving the one true exactly. god so what you're saying actually doctor you know instead of you know trying to be united as you've just mentioned that you know instead of being united there's lots of wars we're discriminating mm -hmm. you know the world is not being united as one exactly mm -hmm. so let's try to find more ways yes to learn more about the values yes. which are common uh -huh. in all these great religions. Let me go now to another aspect okay. that I have dealt with great. or touched upon in the last episode, that spiritual values are human values. Yes. They are inherent in our spiritual nature. Mm. So you cannot, you cannot say, look at Muslims who are violent or who are terrorists, just mm. Muslims. Okay. Actually, you find good people everywhere, and you find some bad people everywhere. Yes. In all humans, mm. when you talk about humans in general, yes. humans are humans. A crucial point there, Doctor. They are not yes. the same. No. You find the rich and the poor. Yes. You find the kind and the wicked. Yes. You find the righteous. Mm. You find the other, you know, side of things. Yes. So we have to be fair in judging others. Well, surely, Doctor, you are very, very kind with all your words, and you know it's a crucial point that you're touching upon here today, mashallah. Let me share with you these human values. Mm -hmm. There are five human values found cross-culturally in all spiritual traditions. Mm -hmm. The truth, seeking the truth, it is an innate nature in us yes. that we try to seek the truth. Mm -hmm. And this is, again, what Jesus told us, mm -hmm. seek the truth. 
Seek the truth. Yes. And the truth will set you free. Yes. The Quran tells us, وَقُلْ Tell them, say, وَقُلْ الْحَقُّ مِنْ رَبِّكُمْ The truth is from thy Lord. Yes. So now we are talking about the truth. Uh -huh. We are trying our best to reach the truth. So this is an innate quality or an innate state mm -hmm. in humans. Yes. Seeking the truth, discovering the truth, being curious yes. about the truth. It's quite you know, true, Doctor. We all have an inhibition to seek the truth and we, we all have it. It's nurtured in us to seek. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Another point, another value, mm -hmm. righteousness, yes. that all humans generally speaking mm -hmm. they like righteousness yes they like to be righteous kind mm -hmm. and good nevertheless there might be some mm. just small percent of people who might deviate yes from those uh, great values yes. that we have in the quran and in the bible and may allah you know guide them to the straight path i mean number three peace all people, all people, mm. they like, all people like to live in peace. Yes. We cannot work. We cannot enjoy our lives without peace, security. So all humans mm. are looking for peace yes. and security. Love. All of us love to be loved. Yes. And we love others. Yes. And the best love and Love number one is to put God first. Love of Allah, yes. number one. To make the love of God as number one. Yes. So we love Allah. Exactly. It's a very good, crucial point, Doctor, because when I, when I first moved to Egypt, people kept saying to me, Rafi, are you lonely? Are you lonely, Rafi? You don't have family. I was not married at this time. They say, you've come to a foreign country, you have nobody. I said, I'm not lonely. Alhamdulillah, I have Allah. That's all I need. Allah or God yes. is with us. Yes. Particularly those mm -hmm. who are in love with Him. Yes. Those who obey God. Yes. Allah loves them more. Yes. Number five, non-violence. Mm -hmm. So humans, generally speaking, yes. they like tolerance, yes. peace, Subhanallah. and not to be violent with yes. others. You like to be treated nicely and kindly. Of course. I like to be treated the same thing. Yes. They like to be treated exactly. in a very nice way. Exactly. However, we might find some people, some mm -hmm. small number of people who go beyond that value yes. or violate that value. Of course. Okay, now let's go to another point or mm -hmm. another information we I would like to share with you this uh, statement that our values are derived from common elements mm -hmm. based on the teachings of all spiritual traditions we have found that the world's religions hold the pieces to the puzzle which can lead us into a higher life we believe that that life lived through these principles of, and values is not only the path to wholeness mm -hmm. but contains the hope mm -hmm. for the future Surprise. especially when when conveyed to our children mm -hmm. i would like to comment on this beautiful statement yes please that we need to teach our children yes we need to train and teach generations and particularly the youth yes to respect others of course to love for others what they love for themselves exactly but it's a crucial point because you know alhamdulillah allah blessed me with a child and you know it's a crucial point that i, I want to bring my children up to 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 have these points that you're mentioning it's very very you know it's very touching to myself and i hope to the viewers at home that we're clearing that up today subhanallah doctor i hope that when we teach our kids, yes. our children, yes. we instill this great, you know, teaching of, of values yes. taught by Islam yes. as well as other religions. Of course. We go back to the basics. Yes. 
we go back to the values. Mm -hmm. The core point, the, the crucial, you know, Islam teaches us to respect each other, not to, you know, say bad things. Again, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, if you can't say anything nice, don't say it at all. Be, be pious, be generous, be gentle. Don't, you know, mm -hmm. and that's what I'm trying to teach my, you know, my child at the moment. I have a baby daughter and, you know, even she's just one years old. And now, I, I you know, I'm trying to teach her the values of Islam. We, we play the Quran, such th things like this, Doctor. And, it, you know, it's fascinating. We're clearing that up. Sure. SubhanAllah. Let's, let me go to some mm -hmm. of those many spiritual values and yes. beliefs that enhance our unity. Mm -hmm. There are many values, many beliefs that we can, we can discuss yes. concerning the sameness mm -hmm. of beliefs and values dictated by Allah, yes. the one true God. Allah. One God. We discussed in the last episode the oneness of God. Yes. Let me just remind our dear viewers about the sameness, mm. that we have the same value, exactly. the same spiritual value mm -hmm. in terms of the oneness of God. Equality. Mm -hmm. So the foremost significant spiritual value or belief unifying us is the fact that it is the same God who created all humans. Mm -hmm. So it is the same God. He created us all. SubhanAllah. Jews, Christians, Hindus, Buddhists, atheists, Muslim, Muslims, agnostics, you name them. Yes. Allah created all. Adam, Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, and Muhammad were sent by the same God, Allah, mm -hmm. to teach and preach the same spiritual values and beliefs mm -hmm. that effectively ensure mm -hmm. and encourage unity among the children of Adam. SubhanAllah, Doctor. Well, that's all we have time for in this part. I hope you viewers at home keep tuned until after the break. Join us after the break. Salam alaikum. Assalamu alaikum and a very warm welcome back to Bridges with me, Rafi Abdul Malik. Well, before the break, we're looking at the values of Islam, the values of Christianity, the values of Judaism. You know, during the break, I was discussing with the doctor. It's really, you know, touched my heart because, you know, everything that we're discussing today is making me think, making me want to research. I hope you, the viewers at home, want, you know, want to seek the truth and want to, you know, find out the true message of Allah, the one God. Doctor, thank you for joining me again. So we were talking about the values of Islam. You know, we were hitting crucial points. And as I've just said to the viewers that, you know, it, through your work, through 30 years, that you've, you've made me think all your wording. And as we know, you have a, a PhD and, you know, you've really, really studied this subject. And it's something in your own heart that you want for people, not just for Muslims, You'll be discovering that you want it for each and every single person on this earth. And this is the message that you're trying to deliver. And subhanAllah, Doctor, sitting in the studio, you know, throughout our sessions, it's, it's touched my heart. So I hope, inshallah, the viewers at home want to find out more. Thank you. Thank you, Brother Rafi. I'm so welcome. happy to be with you and share what I have learned inshallah. with my dear brothers and sisters. Inshallah. Before we, uh, you know, stopped for the break, mm. I was talking about the sameness yes. or the similar values yes. that we can find mm -hmm. in the major religions, yes. particularly Judaism, mm -hmm. Christianity, and Islam. Yes. I said that all prophets, all God's prophets mm -hmm. and messengers, like Adam, Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, and Muhammad, were sent by the same one true God to deliver the message, mm -hmm. to give the same message mm -hmm. to their people. Some of the tasks or works of, of those prophets are to receive guidance from God mm -hmm. and to deliver to, to their people, yes. to convey the message that God is one, mm -hmm. to be role models, to their people, yes. to instruct their people to fear God and keep his commandments and 
to teach their to teach their followers mm -hmm. important religious and spiritual values yes. and tenets as well as worldly mat matters so one of the goals or one of the functions or roles of the prophets to be a role model mm. and to teach their followers to to implement yes. the values and the beliefs from God. Subhanallah. Now let me go to share with you some of those common beliefs yes. and some common values. Yes that we can trace in the Quran and in the Bible. Let's go to the Bible first. Please. We talked about the oneness of God mm -hmm. that we can find in the Bible and the Quran. Let me share with you some evidence or mm -hmm. some pieces of evidence from the Old Testament. It says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. And there is, and there is no other God besides me a righteous God and a Savior. It says here, this is a wonderful yes. text. It says here that God is a righteous God and a Savior. Mm -hmm. He is the Savior. Yes. And this is from the Old Testament, by the way. SubhanAllah. There is none besides me. So there is none besides God. Mm -hmm. He's alone. Turn to me and be saved. How to be saved? Turn back go back yes. to him, yes. to Allah. Exactly. To me, every knee, every knee shall, sh shall bow. Mm. To me, every knee shall bow. We kneel down. Yes. And this is what we are doing in Islam. Yes. Kneeling down, mm -hmm. prostrating in prayer. Yes. Let's go to the New Testament. It says, the first verse, it says, Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Another verse. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Okay. How about the Quran? Mm. Now let's go to the Quran yes. to show the, the comparison. comparison or sameness yes. Yes. of the beliefs and values. The one God in the Quran. Allah said, Say, Qul, tell them, He is Allah, the One, Allah, the Eternal, Absolute. He begets not, nor is He begotten, and there is none like unto Him. Uh -huh. Subhanahu, glory be to Him. Yes. There is no God but I, so worship me. So we can find this great value, yes. this great spiritual value uh -huh. or belief. Yes. Which is common yes. in the Old Testament, the New Testament, and in the Quran. Yes. It unites us in the New Testament, the Old Testament, and the Quran. It unites us. It's, we, that's something in common we all have. Mm -hmm. Now let me go to another aspect of unity mm -hmm. in terms of values. Prayer. Yes. Prayer is another magnificent spiritual value yes. that, that we can find in Islam. Christianity and Judaism. Mm -hmm. So this is another great spiritual value yes. which is existent in these main great religions. Of course. Prayer. What is prayer? Mm -hmm. Prayer provides us, provides us with spiritual growth, mm -hmm. relief, tranquility. So yes. when we pray to Allah, we will find growth yes. in terms of spirit, mm -hmm. relief, tranquility, and contentment for our souls, minds, and hearts. Mm -hmm. God's prophets like Adam, Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, and Muhammad were praying, prostrating to the same one true God, Subhanallah. Allah. Let me go to the Bible. In the Old Testament, it says, then Abraham prayed to God. Okay. Abraham mm -hmm. prayed to God. Moses prayed to the Lord. How about Jesus? Let's go to the New Testament. Yes. Prayer in the Bible. 
in the New Testament. Mm. He, Jesus, peace be upon him, mm. fell with his face to the ground and mm. prayed. Look at that picture, something like that. Subhanallah. Jesus mm. put his face on the ground and prayed. Subhanallah. So this is what the prophets used to do, prayer, mm -hmm. prayer. Supplicating to God, yes. worshiping the only true God. It's a crucial point that you're pointing out. Even Jesus prostrated. Mm -hmm. Subhanallah. And this is found in the Bible. Yes. Let's go to another interesting verse. It says, "In the early morning, this is like Fajr mm -hmm. prayer, yes. morning prayer yes. that we have in Islam. In the early morning, while it was still dark, Jesus got up." left the house and went away to a secluded place and was praying there. He was praying there. Mm. So what, what can we learn from that? Exactly. What can we learn? The doctrine is going to be that he was praying to one God, Allah. He, he didn't um, prostrate to himself. He, he, he prostrated down to Allah. That he we was, do. another question, Brother Rafiya. Mm. Was he praying to himself or he was praying to? Not at all. He was praying to Allah. He, he was prostrating for Allah. Another question, brother. Mm. Who is doing this now? Exactly. Among Christians, Jews, and Muslims. Who is doing kneeling down, prostration? Who is doing that? The Muslims. Muslims. Mm -hmm. So who is following Jesus in truth? Exactly. Who is following the prophets? SubhanAllah. Who is following Moses? Abraham, Jesus, and Muhammad, Subhanallah. Muslims, yes. pray five times a day. Uh -huh. So we need to go back to the values, back to the basics. Yes. Some people have deviated. Yes. They went far away from the truth. Seem to updated, you know, versions of um, the Bible, or you know, they've done things to to make them benefit. Mm -hmm. As the modern world, they think, oh, I don't want to do that, so I'll I'll, I'll update it mm -hmm. as to be. But if we are searching for the truth and we're looking how we should worship God as one, mm -hmm. Subhanallah, and it's pray all to right. Him. Yes. Let's go to to, to the Quran. Mm -hmm. Prayer in the Quran. Mm -hmm. Successful indeed are the believers who are humble in their prayers. Mm -hmm. And keep up prayer and pay the, the alms and bow down with those who bow down. This is a beautiful verse from yes. the Quran teaching us about prayer, salah. Yes. This is what Jesus and the other prophets used to do. How about shalom, mm -hmm. salam, peace? It is. It is the same. It means the same thing. Thus you shall say, peace be to you. Jesus said, peace be with you. And we find this in the Quran. Peace, salam be upon you. Well, thank you, Doc. That's all we have time for right now. Until next time, I hope you join us again next time in the studio. Thank you very much for joining us today. My pleasure. You're more than welcome. Well, viewers, thank you very much for watching. I just want to make sure that we know, you know, that we've been discussing the values of Islam, the values of Christianity, the values of Judaism. We've focused upon what we have in common. We're looking how to unite the world together. We want to discover next time on Bridges, you know, we want to discover the truth. Go back to the truth, the core point. Until next time, take care. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs>